the Leon Van Rensburg Cup is next and we've got a couple of debutantes in this um, yeah four and a half miles grade one fighting words for John Morgan fire lord Leon Van Rensburg friendly vantage for Darren Thompson Giola Padraig or John Morgan National Apocalypse Joshua Sutherland April Furbet for David Robertson Beyond Desire and Boucher Bleu for Derek Hinton, Frozen Hope, Darren Thompson, National Madam, Joshua Sutherland, Rose Bell Drop for David Robertson, Sweet Women for David Healy, The Gentle Blade for Leon Van Rensburg, and The Meanest Cat for Padraig Hogan. Uh, surprised to see a couple of newcomers in this, and they're away and racing. They won't be able to get, a, get into the Grand National next week because they won't have had two runs, so... what their ultimate target for the season is maybe it's this uh, it's uh, fighting words and Gialda Padraig the meanest cat is next and they get to the first of the 30 fences and they're all safely over it a lot of people know what my opinion is of these long distance races and the placings of them I think there is every need for this race but I just don't think it should be this week because just uh, get over the water it just gives again another opportunity for some horses that are potentially going to run in the Grand National to get a really high handicap mark which is going to mean that next week in the Grand National I'll bet you there's no more than four runners in the handicap and get over the next if this race was mid-season it would make more sense and get over the fourth a mistake by sweet women Sweet woman at the back, so it's sweet woman, isn't it? Yep. Sweet woman, the back marker, made the mistake. Fighting words in the room. Also, of course, we have the John Moore's final thing coming up in a couple of weeks. Of so there's plenty of long distance races at this part of the season. I don't know if we have this one before the transfer window. I think that would make a real big difference because it would make people put their horses in earlier. Um, they get over the sixth. And they could then put them away for the national if they wanted to. Anyway, fighting words is in the lead. I hope to make what happens. And fighting words is in the lead. Oh. National Madam second, National Apocalypse second. Those two will both definitely, I would think, run in the Grand National next week. They'll probably be near the top of the weights. Um, along with Leon Van Rensburg's Fire Lord, which will push everything else out, especially if those three finish well here today. Uh, fighting words is well clear. Leading by about 10, as they get over the 8th. Sweet women still struggling out the back. Cat and National Madam and Friendly Vantage. I suppose the other option will be to cap the National at 140 and run this on Grand National Week. I'll probably upset some people. Anyway, they get over the ninth. And they're all safely over it. The fighting words in the lead as they. Take the fence, it'll be the last in two more circuits time. They're all safely over it. Fighting Words is the leader. National Madam second, National Apocalypse is third, and then the meanest Cat fourth. With his friendly vantage after that, then Giola Padraig, and then Boucher Bleu, with Beyond Desire next. And the Gentle Blade and Frozen Hope. April Furbet is after that one. And then finally, Fire Lord and Sweet Women. Raising uphill towards the next end. It's fighting words, the John Morgan front runner. It's over that one in the lead. Pity that one won't be able to run in the national next week because it will be good to have a blazing front runner there. Maybe John's got a couple of others lined up for that. They get over the water. So if we go with the water, sweet women continuing to trail the tails. Fighting words continues 
to lead from friendly vantages move through into second oh, safely over that over the 14th really a friendly vantage down on its nose that time fighting words continuing to show the way then to the national apocalypse and the national madam and uh, then friendly vantage and the meanest cat in Giola Padraig, Frozen Hope is after that. And Fire Lord getting closer as they skip over the next. Midway point in the jumping. And everything's still on its feet. And they get over that one of those sweet women. He's getting a little bit detached at the back. Fighting words in front. Well, National Madam second, Friendly Vantage third, and then National Apocalypse. Joan of Padraig and Frozen Hope. Over 17 they go. So far about the gentle blade has dropped towards the back. And it's been a pretty uneventful race so far as they head down towards the next. Safely. The fighting words lead down to a little more than two and a half lengths now. National Madam second. Again, friendly vantage and Giola Padrag. Yeah. National Apocalypse. A small gap to Frozen Hope. The meanest cat, Bullshit Blur. After that, Fire Lord getting a bit closer. And April Firmit and Beyond Desire as they get over the next. The Gentle Blade Rosebell dropping a sweet woman out the back. This will be the last next time. And they're all still on their feet. And they're all still within 20 lengths of the lead. Fighting Words heads out on the final circuit. Final circuit of this season's Cheltenham Festival. Fighting words is in the lane, dominated by the big boys this season. The festival with a national madam in second and in friendly vantage is third. And national apocalypse and Giola Padraig. The moon is cat and frozen hope. So let's take the next. And there's a fall there. We've lost one. It's the meanest cat that's gone. So the meanest cat, the first to depart the race. As they get to the water. Fighting words leading by two lengths to stable mate Giona Padraig has now moved through into second. The Darren Thompson pair are creeping closer. Friendly Vantage and Frozen Hope. The Fire Lord going well between them. The Joshua Sutherland horses are still there as well as they get over the next. Fighting words continuing to Repel Raiders in the lead as they get over this next one. All safely over that, although another mistake by Sweet Women at the back. Fighting Words continuing to lead. From on the outside, Frozen Hope. Giola Padraig, friendly vantage is there as well. So it is National Madam tucked in behind them. Fire Lord and National Apocalypse. These ones seem to be right between them at the moment as they jump over that one. Although Gentle Blade is now coming through to join them. And April Firmet is trying to run on as well. It's Giola Padraig is now taking it up from his stable mate as they get over the next. Giola Padraig went out, jumped by National Madam who's now gone on. Then comes Friendly Vantage into second. Giola Padraig is third. Fire Lord round the outside. Then Fighting Words is after that. Then comes the Gentle Blade. National Apocalypse is still there as well. Look at these sweet women on the outside who's suddenly starting to creep into it along with April Fur, but as they get over that one, one or two mistakes there, particularly by Frozen Hope and Fire Lord has crept through into the lead. Fire Lord from National Madam between the two of them, friendly vantage. Then comes Fighting Words and Giola Padraig. They're starting to bush. Look at Sweet Women and April Furbet really getting into it then now as they come down to a third last. Over that they go. And it's just Fire Lord and Friendly Vantage from National Madam. Rosebell drops move through into fourth. Then comes the Gentle Blade after that one. 
as they race towards the final couple of fences in there and it's Filord who's got the lead Filord is half a length clear of National Meadow in second friendly vantage between the two of them then the Gentle Blade and Rose Bell drop after that one they're heading towards the final two and it's National Madam on the inside of Firelord with friendly vantage next then the Gentle Blade then Rose Bell drop they're coming down towards this second last fence in now and National Madam landed in the lead from friendly vantage in second Firelord is third the Gentle Blade is four then comes Rose Bell drop they're heading for the final fence and it's National Madam in the lead National Madam gets over it in front gets away from it well from in second place friendly vantage and then the Gentle Blade Firelord is back in fourth but it's got to be another one for Joshua Sutherland and he's going to win the festival with yet another winner of Los Gatam and he's had now but he's certainly won more than everybody else and National Madam is going to take the Leon Van Rinsburg Cup from the fast finishing the Gentle Blade and Friendly Vantage battling it out for second but National Madam wins it close for second Friendly Vantage to the Gentle Blade then Rosebell drop and Frozen Hope and all the way back to Beyond Desire who was last Another winner for Joshua Sutherland with National Madam. I'll we'll probably get a £12 hike for next week now. Friendly Vantage just held on for second from the Gentle Blade third. So National Madam wins it for Joshua Sutherland. Friendly Vantage second for Darren Thompson. The Gentle Blade for Leon Van Rensburg was third. Rosebell dropped for David Robertson was fourth. And Frozen Hope for Darren Thompson was fifth. Just look at those weights there and try and figure out what the handicapper might do. Well, he'll probably only put National Madam up 9, won't he? I could put that up to 170, I would think, based on that, which means that that one's going to be on one... Yeah, if that one runs in the National, nothing else is going to be in the handicap at all, is it? National Apocalypse might go down a couple, but I would say next week we're going to be looking at... A, even if National Madam doesn't run, which is highly unlikely, and why shouldn't it run... It's turning top to run. It's got to go up for one in a group one. So the top weight next week is going to be, I can't see it being less than 170. So basically, if your horse isn't rated over 135 or so in the Grand National next week, you're going to be running out of the handicap. So it makes you wonder whether it's worth entering, really. And there you go. That's the Leon Van Rensburg Cup gone to National Madam and Joshua Sutherland.